as a follow-up to my Atari 2600 Plus video, where we looked at it, we did look at some Atari 7800 games and some that worked. And one of them that did work was Donkey Kong. Um, and I didn't really play it properly. And I, I want to show you how much, um, you know, how good a version it is. Um, I'm actually going to use the Atari 7900 control as well. We just press on the control to start games, which is also good. And either button. So this is not obviously one of the games that needs two buttons. Too slow. Okay. Getting used to the control. And, and bar the harsh sound, it's actually a very respectable version of Donkey Kong. No. I was pushing it. My brain hasn't quite got the time. <coughs> that my warm-up. <clears throat> I was pretty poor, but it's even got, you know, like game over screen in the middle and things like that, so. Alright, let's go again. So if you can't tell by the fact that I've been doing a few videos, I'm actually quite impressed by the Atari 2600 Plus, especially but, uh, I'm not sure I'm doing myself any favours with this controller. Um, <clears throat> the fact that it has such a clean capture, and it really does look fantastic. And what I'm capturing for you guys is also really good quality. Whoa. Normally, I have no issues getting off the first screen of Donkey Kong. Although, I say funnily enough, it is the screen in Donkey Kong that I actually have the most trouble with. Ah. See, with this controller, I'm missing the letters. I'm actually going to change back. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to change back to the original. Atari controller. Let's go. Yeah, you know, that actually feels better. And look at that. Almost missed a ladder. He's nicked off, that's alright. So, as you can see, it has Three of the arcade machine screens, at least. And Mario moves at a reasonable pace. I obviously haven't changed the difficulty level, so I probably am playing on, on easy. Go seem particularly dumb, don't they? No, and, and it has the intermission scenes and things like that. It's just a bit lacking in the music department because of, you know, how basic the Atari 2600 sound chip is. Oh, I missed on that by... But 
but notice the barrel goes straight down you don't have the normal second level angled barrel but the pattern was actually the same which is oh, oh we got a wild barrel yeah, so I stand corrected and it's just interest out of interest to see whether this patterns the same no Obviously, we're missing the pie factory. Oh! oh I misstepped. Oh. Well, I'm actually really enjoying this, so I'm going to have another go. It's just me, I just like playing Donkey Kong. Best panic reaction that. Oh. But, you know, it's got all those little facets like the pop-up scores when you jump over things. There's lots of colour going on. And it really does look a lot like the arcade game. I'd say the, you know, the enemy patterns are obviously not the same as the arcade. This is definitely different from our first row. So the ghosts aren't very smart, but once again we are playing it on the default level. Right, let's see if I can... Well, at least beat that score up there, don't we? Oh. When you think about it, it is actually quite a well, quite a fast version of Donkey Kong. Lucky. Mm. Andre. Oh, I thought I was going for the hammer then. 
really going for score. That's why we haven't put too many hammers in action. But they're definitely know where I am and are seeking me. Case in point. Oh God. This is not good. I think I've made a very grave error. <laughs> so they definitely do case here. Oh, still got a life left. That surprised me. I might try a different pattern. So I want to try a hammer. He definitely goes frantic with the hammer. Harsh music aside, it is quite a playable version of the game. Mm. Mm. And that was a mistake. Alright, well as you can see, I've thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, 34,500, obviously um, a, a decent score for this version, I suppose, I don't know. Um, I get high scores on other versions of Donkey Kong, but I do play Donkey Kong a bit. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this quick look at another Atari 7800 game on the Atari 2600 Plus. Yeah, you can see the different levels, that music is quite loud. I'm Electric Adventures, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.